poor. Before my parents became landlords, I remember visiting the house that they now own. It was the second in a row of four abandoned homes. The street was called America, but it looked like the Great Depression. Like a ghost town staring its own reflection in the mirror. Each building wore the same outfit of boarded up doors with looted interior of dusty, dark rug. Shattered glass made every window frame a broken tooth smile. The building my parents bought looked hung over. <laughs> like the result of a party gone wrong. Like an alcohol chase argument went too far, like someone took a couple of shots before taking a couple shots. The outline of a dead body labeled this property crime scene. My parents took a city cave and built a home from scratch. A few years passed, America Street became a neighborhood full of black and brown families. As kids, we were all in unison. Our outdoor bonding turned a graveyard into a playground. This concrete jungle of foliage and pollen couldn't stop the games we played. Trees marked start and finish line for foot races. Wild grass broke our fall when wrestling got rough. With a hollowed milk crate nailed to a telephone pole, my brother played basketball with neighbors until the nightfall. My sisters sat front row getting their hair done on the front porch. Now it's been over 20 years and my parents still own this home. But new businesses and clean streets makes property value increase as financial grips started to slip. Everyone we knew has moved. I miss conversations, roasting sessions, debates from after school till curfew. Today, neighbors are strangers. We only greet each other with one word. I would rather a real estate eyesore with a pumping heart than this flat line suburb. Some days, I remember the caution tape from our first visit. I wonder if it was the universe trying to warn us. Caution, land is loyal to conquerors, never its natives. Caution, history has ironic ways of repeating itself. Caution, this street is named America for a reason. The building visible from our house is a theory called the Columbus. When I look around and see less people that look like me, I ask, is this a coincidence or a metaphor for genocide? Because gentrification will repaint a neighborhood like a bad art book. It stops coloring between the lines. I think of the chalk sketch from our first visit and realize even though murders have stopped on this block, there is still something dying here.